my way home. I can't make heads or tails of where I'm at. <laughs> I live in front of the saloon next to the freight station. You know if I'm heading in the right direction? Sure. Sure, just head over that way. You'll be all right. Thank you, mister. Well, certainly do appreciate it. Certainly do. Great. Thanks. You and all right? Oh. I really don't feel too good. I really need to get back home. Morning, mister. Yeah, yeah! God damn it. Keep it moving. Hey, be careful. Hey, easy now. Yeah. I think I'll take a nice long nap when I get home. <laughs> I do appreciate your help. Are you sure this is the right way? Don't spy on me. Oh, hey. I'm sure I can trust you. Thanks again, mister. I'd end up on the street if I didn't run into you. Guess you had a good day, I think huh? I found it. <laughs> Or My maybe a bad one needs to get over here. This must be it. Are you trying to make sure I get home safe? You're kind for a stranger. Faster than mine, though. Ariel's my pride and joy. That horse makes all of us. Why not a race like to mules. Calumet Ravine? You? Back to it. Sure. Let's race. All right. Let's race. Look at that! I won! 
Slow now. <laughs> to you huh all that stamina training for nothing Ugh. not a bad race maybe another time next time friend next time we'll get what's the hurry what the this hell will be over soon Sense is it would be rude not to rob you. Here we go. Cut me loose. This one is. Stay out of our way. What? What the hell this you is Couldn't you put me down and untie me? <sighs> Anything you want me to hold on to? Can you help? Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? My goddamn horse got spooked and run off. You hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Oh, yeah. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. Stay calm, friend. 
Not a big deal. Whoa. Ease up. It's okay. It's fine. It's nothing. It's nothing, really. Stop. You can run. Okay. Come on, man. Let's get you back. Just where you left him. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. So, better be good, you hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how big and strong you are. Look you here. Come on. You're not so nasty. I found him. You're a good man, Mr. Mr. John. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse. Aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Weren't but a snake that spooked him. <laughs> you're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. How'd you lose the leg again? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. How's the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish, enjoy the outside. I weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, 
It's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great, so between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Thanks again. Yeah, you throw me again, you old dumb bastard, I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. You're my savior, sir. Ah, that was a terrible thing to see. Get back to town and make yourself well. I shall, sir. I shall. And I shan't forget the kindness you've done to me. So long. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatonet. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> Well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. <laughs> Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. A nerve on you. That's it. <laughs> oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, son of a bitch. Oh, you God. filthy little man. Oh, oh. Come on, horse. We're leaving. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Charles, where are you? Over. This show is well and truly over. Let's get out of here. Come on. I think we are okay. Huh? The exhibition. What can you say? It was not boring. Huh? <laughs> that, it was not. Oh, Mr. Henry. How to test people? Push them. I thought I was a fraud. A no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? <laughs> you keep provoking those emotions, all your canvases will have punch holes in them. I told you I was a whole ass. <laughs> you did. And you are. Now, maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. 
Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, it seems like the only thing you'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me! <laughs> Yes? Sorry. I'm... I've got this letter. Sent to an old friend of mine, Mr. Tacitus Kilgore. Now, he ain't with us no more, but I thought maybe I would be of assistance instead. Well, well, well. Let me see if the mayor has any use for you. Follow me, please, Mr. Um... What was it? Oh, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea. Monsieur Le Mieux? Come in. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Uh, John Marston. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rub me like your friend, are you? No. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Marston. They won't hear anything about you from me. But... Oh, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing. Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I could do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, mm. a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. Uh, and how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Oof. Ouch. Ouch indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference, and I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So... So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Marston, John Marston, to meet little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. Come, sir, if you don't mind. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. Now, as I said, he is a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend. You ain't seen beastly yet. Not even close. You know, I thought we French had a monopoly on arrogance, but no. An overeducated American can be far, far worse. Luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. We shall have true liberal democracy, working for the rich and the poor alike. It would be a travesty for this one man's opinion. <laughs> Put that into the gallery is just up ahead. There, Mr. John, there! Whoa! What's his name again? Officer Shiftaker. Mm.
Professor, excuse me. Ah, oh. hello. The mayor asked me to get a preview of your findings in there. The mayor knows very well what I've found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> that is a big claim. One that might upset some people. Myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. It gonna take a fist in your face to persuade you? Oh. Oh, wait. Wait. I gotta punch you to change your mind? I couldn't! My reputation! How's that reputation looking now? I'll never be published again! I relent! I relent! Professor, an academic reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Y yes, sir. I, 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 I see that now. And the thing is, now people are going to see these paintings and love them. So you really are helping people. I... You know I'm right, Professor. Please, don't make me upset with you again. No, 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 no sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you'll send the mayor what he needs. Um... Because otherwise... I'll be in New Haven. No, no, we don't want that. Of course we I'll don't. I'll my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. To you. So, turns out, those pictures are all real after all. Ah, Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? Uh, not initially, but we got there in the end. Oh, my lord, this is not right. Trust me, I've done a lot worse. I shall burn in hell for this. Here's hoping. Yeah. The mayor asked me to give you this. Thank you. Ah, 